Okay, so we're gonna chase the bees down out of these Supras, which they are loaded with bees. We're gonna use a fume board. And the purpose to trace them down so we can harvest the honey? Yep, we want to uh, get the bees off the Supras. And there's many ways to do it, but this one, I have personally found to be the simplest one. This is called Bego. It's just some kind of smelly chemical. There's other ones they have out there with different names, but I just take it and shoot it on the board. Stick it on top of the hive and just sit back and wait. You'll hear them rev up and move down. What's it smell like to you? I don't know. What's that smell to you, Camille? I can't describe it. It's just a, it's got a smell. I don't know what it smells like, but you, it's not nice to have it in your car because it sort of chases you out. Hear them revving up? You know, if you got a yard with uh, 10 or 20 hives, having two of these, that way you alternate going down. You let it sit on there for, not really sure. When they're gone, they're gone. It's not all day, that's for sure. How long have we been on there now? A minute? Two minutes? So they're, they're pretty much, they're, ooh, it was about empty. They're trying to get away from that smell. Yeah, I was going to say I'm doing a bad job too in squishing. It happens. <laughs> Does it take them a little longer to get out with the um, queen excluder at the bottom? Yes. Ugh. So the bees are gone. Both these boxes are full of honey. So I'm not taking these off today because they're not capped. But these two boxes, are they feel, this one felt full and that one looked full. And that's how you use a fume board. Pretty simple.